It's Ramsey Dewey and Tenyu, and we're here at the Animal MMA Gym in Shanghai, China. Let's do some knee bars and some toe holds. So, a lot of ways to pass the half guard, but let's not pass it, let's leg lock him. Let's be one of those guys. So, I'm going to frame on the hips here. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to sit my butt right down onto his hip. Not onto the floor, but right on his hip. And now, holding onto this leg, I can pull down. I could finish the knee bar by pulling with my hands, but I've found a lot of guys have really strong legs and they can break that grip. So I'm going to frame with my armpit. And now he won't be able to pull it through my arm. And now pinch my knees, drive my hips up and pull back here to finish the knee bar. So what happens a lot is this. I will be going for the knee bar. I'll get this far and the guy will understand I'm trying to leg lock him and so he'll pull his leg in tight, right? So I won't be able to, to straighten it out. And that's okay. If you're going for a knee bar attempt and you can't straighten it out, let's switch to a toe hold. So we got a toe hold right here. So the mechanics of a toe hold, take this crease right here, get it over the little toe, grab that, take this hand right under the ankle joint, grab your wrist joint, pull it in, and crank both wrists down. Same as you would finish in Americana. So, right here, step around under the arm, and we've got our knee bar, or if he pulls it in, we've got our toe hold, okay? Now sometimes, this happens to me a lot when I try this, it's very important to stay very close. If I'm stepping out here, giving him a mile of space, he can do whatever he wants. So pay close attention to this foot right here. I'm gonna wedge this foot right under his butt. My heel is kind of close to his tailbone, but the foot's under his butt. And I'm going to come down and I'm gonna sit. So now we're very close and the knee is right next to my chest. A big problem a lot of people have is they'll sit on the floor or roll on the floor first, and then they'll end up on the wrong side of the leg. But let's say he locks his legs together to stop me from getting this knee bar. Okay, we have other options. We can strip this uh, lock at the toes. We can even toe hold him right here. Okay, and we can toe hold him that way. Okay, so anytime you got a failed knee bar, well, anytime he, the knee bar fails because he's bending the leg, there's a toe hold. Okay, let's put this in reverse. So he's on top, I'm on the bottom. I'm in a half guard, and there are a couple of ways to set up a uh, toe hold from here, right? I can push out over here, drive that way. Oh, look, there's a toe. If you can see a toe, you can toe hold it, right? We can even knee bar him from here if we can straighten it out. But generally speaking, if people feel you pulling this leg down, they're going to pull it back. So we can set up our toe hold, right? Just instinctively, people will fight against your force. It doesn't matter if they're trained or untrained. You push, instinctively they push back. You pull, instinctively they pull back. So when somebody feels you trying to straighten the leg, instinctively most people will bend it. So, let's do another knee bar. So come on up here, all fours. Right, so we're in this position and the other guy is trying to beat you up. He's trying to... He's trying to strip you down here. He's trying to, I don't know, get a crucifix and make your life very miserable. He's trying to get behind you, take your back, choke you, something like that. And you don't want any of those things to happen. You're going to do that to me. So he's, he's trying to wrestle with me. I'm going to take this inside leg. I'm going to hook right here. I'm going to do a rolling knee bar. Oh, look at that. And... If this pesky leg starts to bend, we can roll into the toe hold instead. So let me show you that from behind. So this way. Yeah, so he's got this arm over. So stay behind, stay behind, watch my feet. So take a look at those feet from right here. This one's gonna come between his legs, right? My hand is gonna come between here. Look at my shoulder, I'm doing a shoulder stand here. I'm rolling over this way. I can get the knee bar that way, that way. Or if it bends, uh, we can get a toe hold. Okay. 
one last time, full speed. He's behind, I'm in front, I hook this, I roll. All right, we got toe holds, we got knee bars. Fun times. All right, there's some knee bar stuff for you. There are a ton of other ways to set up knee bars. I've shown a few on this channel. But the most important thing, don't just watch this video, get out there and train.